video is to show you how to construct a kimono block. So you do that using your easy fitting bodice blocks that we have just constructed and also your easy fitting sleeve blocks. And what I've done with my sleeve block is I've actually just split it in two right up my centre line. So I have those ready. So I've traced around my easy fitting bodice blocks and what I've done then is from my side seam I've drawn out 3.5 centimetres on both sides. So that is 3.5 that way and then 3.5 that way. Okay. Point 0.1 is at your waistline and point 0.0 is your underarm point. Okay. Then what we do is we take our back sleeve and fold it under here so you can see. Make sure I have all of this in camera. So we take our back sleeve, we take the shoulder point up here, okay, point four, which is your shoulder point. You line up the top of your sleeve with that and the underarm point you place where it hits that 3.5 centimeter line and then you draw around your block the whole way okay so that's what i've done there you can see it in the red i've drawn around my sleeve the whole way okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to create the shape under here so to find to create the underarm shape you measure down a third of the distance from point zero to point one so the whole measurement is 18, so I measure down 6, and I square across, okay, so that's point 0.7, and then the other thing you do is you mark, you join point 0.7 with your cuff, so with the end of your sleeve, okay, so I've joined point 0.7 with the end of my cuff the whole way along. Then, six centimetres down from point seven, so that's six centimetres, and six centimetres out from point seven, you mark two points. And there, you then curve those two points together. Okay? And that's what creates the underarm shape. So from point seven, you go down six centimeters and then you also go out six centimeters. And then you just draw in that curve and that then connects up with your original side seam. So that 3.5 wasn't to make the side seam any bigger. That 3.5 was so that you would find the position of where to place the underarm position of your sleeve block when you were matching it up at the sleeve head. And then the other thing you do at point four, you measure up 1.5, draw in a new shoulder point, a new shoulder line, and then connect that to the end of your sleeve. Okay, so it's a slightly raised shoulder. So that is actually the shape of your kimono. And then you do the same for your front. Okay, so I'm going to do this one in a different colour pen so that to try and make the whole thing a little bit easier for you to see. So we have our, so this is our front block. Okay, you can see that with our front block. Okay, so again, I'm matching up the top of my shoulder with that line which is 3.5 out from my side seam okay so I'm going to mark position those two there and I'm just going to pin them in place and then draw around your sleeve and draw in the full block Okay. And my underarm seam. 
Okay. And then basically the same thing as we did to the front underarm. The, sorry, the same thing we did to the back underarm here, we're going to do to the front underarm. So 7 centimetres, sorry, 0 0.7 is 6 centimetres down. And then we do the same. We square out and join up 0 0.7 with the end of your sleeve. So 0.7 gets joined up with your cuff. And just while we're at it, we'll do the same thing here. We'll go up our 1.5 on our shoulder point. So at this point here, you go up 1.5 centimetres. Connect in your new shoulder line and your new sleeve. Okay, and then from point seven, you measure out six centimeters, and then that gets curved down to the same point, and that is your kimono construction. So you basically don't need these lines here they won't get traced off at all okay so the back will become the higher line of the two around your back neck all the way down your center back and then up the original side seam okay. and then the front at the moment I've actually kept the dart in the same position but you could manipulate that to say the French waist dart position which would actually work quite well for this particular block and um, but that's completely up to you and um, at the moment as I say it's still in the original position so your front will be along the green line, all the way out. At the moment it's around here. Down your centre front. Across and then up the original side seam. And that is how to construct a kimono block.